Welcome to Albania. Uh, since 25 years ago, it became a capitalist country. And before that, it was, uh, before, back to 1945, it was run by the communists. And prior to that, uh, the Nazis. That mosque there, there was built in the uh, 1700s, I think he said. And that's the center of Tirana. The, the opera house was, uh, began, uh, was uh, the opening ceremonies were conducted by Khrushchev. And those odd-shaped buildings, he says, were all built by the Italians during the Italian occupation. Very weird shapes in downtown Tirana. We're at the museum, and he says that the big, the big uh, mural, he said, of course, came from communist times, and that's why he says the people look so strong. And I can see that a woman is leading some kind of battle. And I, I really like the Museum of History, but they didn't let us have any cameras in there. Everywhere that Elaine and I go, we try to find a picture show, the last picture show, or some picture show. And we finally found one here in Tirana, uh, Albania. And guess what they're showing? My big fat <laughs> Greek wedding. We found another movie. And the kids were just lined up out there. It looks like uh, middle schoolers. Lined up to go to the movie. And guess what they're going to go see? Hamlet. I can't see the guy but I guess it's, those are his speakers on that minaret. That's the call to prayer. In downtown Tirana, Albania. And I've never seen so damn much construction going on. It's more than Dallas. There's construction everywhere you look. The streets, the buildings. This is what the tour guide refers to very sarcastically as the communist art and uh, we already saw a picture of Inverhoxa when he declared uh, state of Albania in uh, 246 I guess that's the guy that fought the Muslims and this is uh, looks like World War One, maybe World War Two. This is a statue, bust, of whatever that says. And here's the workers, being the workers, which is, uh, he said it's very controversial now, this uh, socialist realist art. It's now very controversial in the country. And I kind of think that uh, all of the religious stuff and, and anti-religious stuff is also controversial. But at least that would not surprise me. A hero, a heroic figure, and some more heroic figures. And this one, of course, is in Verhoza in 1946. Anyone who likes socialist realism would be more impressed here than anywhere. And uh, I've been to Russia and I haven't seen this stuff. So, guy making metal, metal worker. Children playing. People working in a steel mill. More workers. Pictures that uh, exalt working people are common in socialist realism. There's a, there's a statue of a guy with a shovel and uh, women, women working in factories and one working in agriculture. There's two working in agriculture. And here's a worker with a, a painting of a worker 
with his apron on and a hammer in one hand, but he's also got a rifle across his back. That's socialist realism. And there's some workers making iron, I think. These workers might, might be miners. And there's somebody building hydro, building electric. And, uh, there's a welder. There's <laughs> a triumphant worker. You know, the iron workers. Union would probably love that picture. A triumphant iron worker. And there they are, the roughnecks on the drilling rig. Just like they are back home. Putting the tongs on the drill pipe. Going in the hole. There was a park across the street. They're building some modern art there now. And it had statues of Stalin and Lenin. And I suspect these might be the statues. They've got them now in the, in the back patio. They say they bust them up. We're getting ready to say aloha. Because we have already been to Duras and Tirana. But even over there you can see a church. Which is interesting to me. And uh, you can see a lot of construction still going on.